When the topic of restitution comes up, what comes to mind? Probably some old dusty objects from some faraway place in some boring old museum, right? While all of that might be true, what about your material heritage? Maybe even the remains of your ancestors that lie in these museums. Your bloodline may be directly connected to the history that exists in these museums. Well, for centuries, two to be exact, Africans have been making claims for the return of their heritage and even for the return of human remains of our ancestors. And this history is one that has rung out across the world directed from Africa. Scholars say that as much as 90% of sub-Saharan heritage is currently outside of the continent. That means only 10% of our heritage is here in African museums and other African memory spaces. Knowledge being produced on restitution has grown exponentially, 300% since 2016, and even more than that by 500% since 1990, within academic literature alone. Academic writing has grown 300%. The public discussion has grown even more, and on platforms such as Twitter, it has grown by as much as 600%. So here's the catch. Though there's been a lot of growth and a lot more attention on restitution, which is of course important, the voices of Africans themselves are not very well represented in this debate. Sounds contradictory, right? Well, let me explain. 